Okay, hello. Um, you have uh, clicked on this video. You are uh, probably trying to figure out how to uh, uh, get a little micro quad that came with an SPI receiver to have a uh, um, an add-on receiver, a freestanding receiver so that it will either fly better or fly at all. Uh, I made a video the other day on how I did this one and I realized I didn't offer any proof in the video that it actually works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna hope you can see it. That right there, no battery. That right there is the receiver I added. And in a moment you'll have a better shot of it, a better look at it. Um, it is a, uh, Beta FPV ELRS 2.4 gigahertz receiver. Uh, the flat antenna. You can see it right there, the little red flat bit. Um, it's the flat antenna. Um, I wanted to bind it to uh, this radio. I don't know which way is right, right way around, but I wanted to bind it to this radio. Which, uh, when I bought it, it, said it was D8 or D16. It won't bind on D16. It'll only bind on D8. This one just did D16. I've got that module. Power it up here. Uh, um, uh, there's the module powered on. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's yeah. Um, I'll power up my goggles here, so you can see what's going on in there. All right. Here's my. And I don't laugh at my old school goggles, but here's my old school. Hobby King box goggles that are still my favorites. I still fly in along. Um, here's the little quad. I'm gonna power it up. I'm gonna hit scan. I don't think y'all are looking at the top of my head. I think I'm gonna hit scan. Yeah, I'm gonna hit scan. There we go. There it is. There's the uh, the little quad. Looking around. There it is. Hope y'all can see that. Let me let screen up. I'm bound. Don't do this at home. Uh, this is not a good idea. I know that. I'm a Hold it just to make sure it's a little tiny thing, make sure it didn't fly away. But you're gonna watch me hit my arm switch. There you go. Um, she's flying on the uh, module. And I'm doing all of that to A, show proof of concept, or proof of development, or whatever you're supposed to say. I don't know what it is. Um, unplug that. That's unplugged. Now, I'm going to step over here and get a tool real quick. Hang on a second. something I said I'd never do and that is I am going to uh, pull this apart and show everybody how it's wired up a to substantiate my statements 
the other video. A lot of you may already know this. But this thing's kind of a bear to get apart. It's the only thing I really don't like about this one. It is a bear. To get apart. Yeah. Let's do it by hand. Um, this might, this video might be a little longer, um, but I'm doing it this way for a reason. So everybody knows there's no switchery or anything. You'll see I'm already missing one motor screw, which is why this thing is not flying right now. It's waiting for. A, a hardware kit to come in but you have to take the motors loose because the frame the second part of the frame this bit right here is all one piece the whole the arms the canopy you'll see in just a second um, is all one piece and it is sandwiched between the carbon fiber skeleton of the frame and the flight controller in the motors which means to do anything if you have to change a motor what have you to do anything you have to take every single thing off of this oh, everything back a hundred million years ago when I was a teenager um, I was big into car audio I had a friend that had an old Saab back then it wasn't an old Saab it was just a Saab <laughs> now it's an old Saab um, and he wanted to put some stereo equipment in it and uh, I said, sure, got this. You had to strip that car down to the frame, just about, to do anything with, with the speakers and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over here, let all the little screws fall out, so I don't have any more comments. There's the little skeleton of the frame. Now you can see flight controller and everything the uh, motors you know we'll just follow out the flight controller let me lift that off of there also pretty good there's no little screw a little shim the camera is also a bit of a bear to get out it it's hooked over that post then it'll come on out and that's what I'm talking about so you can see the whole thing there is uh, and you go well how often would you work on it well, hopefully not very. Um, like I said, I needed to do something about the receiver on this one. Um, uh, and you'd think, well, not very. But the uh, battery, just if you needed to replace those bands, the batteries, you got to do all that. And it's just not funny. It's just not funny. All right. I don't know how much of this y'all are going to be able to see. But there's the little receiver. I put it in a bit of shrink wrap. I don't know if y'all can read that. Or how clear that's going to be. Um, I got my loops down so I can see. 
but here is how it is wired up until I get the motor on there y'all I know my hands tremble probably thinking how in the world is this man saw it or anything barely that's how barely um, there's my 5 volt in my ground it is right at um, the 5 volt in ground um, for the camera there's the video for the camera the 5 volt in the ground for the camera here's the 5 volt in ground um, for uh, that I'm using for the receiver this little tab right here is the S bus tab these are motor tabs if you can see right there That says T1 right there. That says T1. Put a light on that so you can see it. Right there. And R1. Now the issue with that is R1 is where the smart audio is it's on UART one um so this is what i did and y'all have seen this and you just saw it work that little tab right there right here you can see where this wire is soldered not this one Put this one behind it. Let me see if I can get this one right there. Is R2. The one above it says 3.2 volts, and that is accurate. I checked it. Uh, there is no uh, T2 tab on this that I found. Um. I could not find it, so I wired it up like that. I figured, what have I got to lose? And you saw it. It worked famously. Um, and it works fine. It responds to everything. It goes through um, beta flight just fine. Um, I had a gentleman on a live stream. I don't know if anybody watches Fat Pastor FPV. If you don't, you should. He's got a pretty good channel. I've been checking it out for the past couple of days. Um, he's got a pretty good channel. Um, he's not half bad pilot. He's better than me. Um, uh, not to say that I'm a great pilot. I'm not. I'm a crap pilot. <laughs> but he's far better than me. Um, I was explaining to him what I did. And, uh, um, it was confusing to him. So, I thought, well, in my other video, I just blurted out what I did and uh, that may have confused people so I wanted everybody to see it but yeah I go from uh, receive on the from RX on the receiver uh, to uh, T1 on the board and from TX on the receiver to R2 on the board and it works fine I went into beta flight I turned on UART 2 everything lit up uh, he asked about the on-screen display and I told him, he asked if I had it. I said, sort of. And what I was trying to get to with that was, I think the on-screen display is a little wonky on this because in beta flight, in the beginning, I thought, I don't, I'll turn the on-screen display off. I don't like all that clutter on my screen. I don't race. I don't do anything really important. I just fly around my yard. Um, and when I first started doing this, there was no on-screen display. You were lucky to have a picture. And uh, so I don't, I don't like a lot of clutter on my screen. Um, uh, but when I did try to turn it back on, uh, I had to go into the uh, stick controls and do it on the heads up or the on the on-screen display. Once I did it, I started checking what I wanted to come on in there. It started coming on. Um, so I'm sure I could go into beta flight now and move stuff around on the screen so I could see it better. So yes, I'm gonna say the on-screen display is working. Um,
And that's about what I wanted to say this morning. I wanted to make this little video so everybody could see this wiring diagram. But uh, again, uh, RX goes to T1, TX goes to R2, and it worked fine. I'm not gonna arm it. I'm gonna turn the radio on just for... Uh, because I've learned if you arm it and you do anything, these little motors spin around on themselves. And, uh, whoops, wrong place. Uh, um, I'm trying to not cover it up. I don't want anybody to claim that there was some type of... Uh, but it's lighting up fine. See, the receiver just bailing that quick. Um, that's the... Uh, Y'all know that. That's the video transmitter uh, telling me what channel band and channel it's on so there you go that's how that worked i hope that helps somebody i really do because it caused me a lot of frustration over several days uh to try to get this little thing going um so i hope this helped you if it did let me know um that would make that would be pretty cool um that would be pretty cool to know that i could help somebody work through something on this and i'm sure it would work on almost anything there's not a lot of difference in any of these flight controllers so y'all have a good day and i hope i helped